everyone, we're the Evergreens, and as you can see, we've left Tokyo, and we're now in a town at the base of a very iconic Mount Fuji. Yeah, look at this beautiful view. So we bought bus tickets from Tokyo Station. The bus ride was only about two hours, and there were some beautiful views on the way of the countryside, Mount Fuji, and the leaves are changing here now, so that was really nice to see. So the reason we're here is we booked a night stay at a traditional Japanese ryokan, and we've been really looking forward to this experience for quite some time, so the night is finally here, and we're going to experience a traditional stay. So we just arrived and they're taking our luggage up to her room. They just seated us. I think they're having tea, like a welcome tea. hot towels here to clean your hands first. So welcome to our little space. I guess this is our entryway area. You have to take off your shoes when you first walk in. You can only walk on this first area with your shoes. So in here is our bathroom. It's so funny too. I just noticed that there's special slippers for the toilet. You gotta love that. I guess I should put those on. Check out the situation. So we have our bidet. My favorite thing about the toilets here, heated seats. Although I think it's kind of gross in public bathrooms. <laughs> but, but they're very clean. When it's your own, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, toilet situations are always good. In Japan. Oh, gotta take off my toilet slippers. <laughs> Tea bags. Ooh, it smells amazing. Now for the main event. They turn this into our bed area later. You have dinner in your room and then you sleep on the floor. And everything about it is very traditional except for the TV, but we're not complaining because we love Japanese TV. A and then a massage chair. Throwing me off a little bit, but I'll probably end up using it. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, our bedding so for later. Stuff. But they do that for us. Yeah. The highlight of this room, though. We have our very own private onsen. So the other thing that makes Rio Con Hotel special is they always have onsens, which typically are public baths. So they're separated for men and women, but you have to be naked when you go in them. So it depends if you're comfortable with that or not. You're also not allowed to go in with any tattoos at all in most of them. I think there are exceptions, but we just thought it'd be nice to find one that we could have our own private onsen. And the view of Mount Fuji is... Yeah, oh let's gosh. talk about that. So I say before it gets too dark, let's go ahead and get in this thing. Oh my gosh, let's do it. Alright guys, so we just got out of the onsen. Those views of Mount Fuji were unmatched and we put on our traditional yakutas. You got that. How do we look? Pretty snazzy. I love it. But we have about an hour until our dinner is served here in our room. So I think we're gonna walk around and explore part of the hotel and just relax. There's a karaoke room. It said it's closed right now though, but that would have been really fun. Oh, the plum wine is very tasty. I've never had it before. It's it's very sweet, but easy to drink. So plum wine is a traditional type of Japanese liqueur made from ume, plums, steeped in sugar and alcohol. Yeah, it's really good. Refreshing. I like it. Okay, now we're just gonna sit here and wait till they bring us our dinner. Real quick, we just discovered that there's toe socks. Yeah. 
I always wonder what these would feel like. It's a mitten for your foot. It's so funny. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Thank you for waiting. Okay. Please stay safe. Uh, this life appetizer. Okay. Appetizer. And this is sashimi. Thank you. You can eat 10 minutes later. Okay. So, Prua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was so cool. She just came in and set all of this up, this beautiful spread in a matter of minutes. And I think she said there's more coming, but we were a little bit confused. So I will come to bring the next dish and more dish and dessert. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yes, oh. more. Oh, oh, wow. More? <laughs> yes. He thought this was everything. I will come. <laughs> So yeah, this is our appetizer. Okra, stew figs in wine, some kind of salmon, a vegetable tofu and seasonal cheese, assorted sashimi with soy sauce. And then on our stove here, we have beef and pork with vegetables. Those get dipped in these two sauces. And here we have some steamed vegetables and then miso soup. Oh, and then we have two different kinds of chopsticks. I guess you use one for the meat and then one for everything else. Watch, well, you don't get your sleeve in your I know, soy sauce. I'm like dipping my kimono and everything. What a fun experience. Yeah, you can find these traditional ryokans all over Japan, of course. And we just chose to do the Mount Fuji one because we wanted to see Mount Fuji anyway, but there's definitely not a shortage of these and there's so many different ones. A lot of them have outdoor onsens included and natural spring onsens, but I'm really pleased with this so far. Hi. Hi. Okay, so our personal waitress just came back and gave us more food. <laughs> Looks like we have some kind of pork dumpling. There's a scallop, some kind of fish, and then some kind of traditional Japanese dish. That's very colorful. Looks like a fish cake, maybe. This meal. She gave us a lot of food. <laughs> we didn't even get dessert yet, but we're feeling it. I think that is. Open a notch on my, <laughs> <laughs> on my kimono belt. So Nikki's is dessert. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, gotcha. So we just got our final course. It's our dessert. We have a grape jelly and a matcha cake. So our beds are made now. Someone else came in and took the dinner table out and set these up. It was really cool to see the process. And I did research, not research, I Googled if we can wear these kimonos to sleep in. And I guess it is typical to just wear them for your entire Ryokan stay. So we are sleeping in them. And A is already snug as a bug in a tatami mat rug. <laughs> so we're gonna go explore some more of the surrounding area tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see you then. Sleepy head. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. It's just like camping. These things are so fluffy. I know. <laughs> We've morphed into one. We pushed our mats together so we could cuddle. <laughs>
Well, good morning. So these tatami mats were actually pretty comfortable. It felt kind of like camping, but got a good night's sleep. We just used the onsen again this morning, but we both said that we're so glad that we chose to use it when we first got here last night because we had the most amazing views of Mount Fuji from the onsen. This morning it's hiding behind the fog, so I hope it pops out while we're still here around the area. But yeah, we have breakfast in about 30 minutes. Um, Still pretty full from that dinner last night that was huge, but breakfast is included here with our stay. So we're gonna go have that and then hang out here a bit more. And then we're gonna head into a local town and explore some of the shops and things to do around that area. There is some viewpoints of Mount Fuji that will be pretty epic if it does pop out of those clouds. I can get used to these kimonos. I think I want one for back home. I know, I think we're gonna have to ask Santa to bring us some kimonos this year. <laughs> So we realized you can rent another outdoor bath, which obviously we have one in our room, so we wouldn't have to do this, but we wanted to see what it was like. But this one is open air too, so yeah. I had to try it out. How's it feel? Is that hot? Oh yeah. got a grape ice cream. Never heard of grape ice cream before, but the grapes here have been so good, so we had to try it. Mm. Is it good? It tastes like Concord grapes. Oh, it's I amazing. I can't get over it, like a green Concord grape. Oh my gosh, it's the same flavor as the grape jelly we had last night. I got the matcha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is like, easily one of my new favorite ice creams. It doesn't taste like milk ice cream. It does yours? Maybe yours is. Mm -hmm. Mine just tastes icy. Yours is like icy. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's so good. All right, guys, so we just rode the bus for an hour and a half. We barely made that bus. We were really crunched for time. Yeah, that ice cream, I think, put us over the edge. Yeah, <laughs> but it was well worth it. I had to go pick up our bags. We had stored them in a luggage locker for like about two hours while we explored. And it took a little bit of time for me to retrieve them, but we made it in time, rode our bus, and now we're at the Mish Mishima station. Sure. Yeah, I think the Mishima station, but we just bought our Shinkansen tickets. It was a really easy process to get from here to Kyoto for both of us one-way fare. I think it was like around 140 US dollars. But anyways, I think we have about an hour until our Shinkansen leaves and we're so excited to ride the bullet train for the first time. Yep. bus tickets from Stoki 
Tokyo. <laughs> At a very traditional Japanese ryokan. Ryokan? Ryokan. Ri. Ri? Ri. Okan. Okay. Is it between us? Can you it's see? It's recording, right? Yeah. Are Is you it sure? between us? Okay. We booked a stay at a traditional Japanese ryokan. 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 We booked a stay at a traditional Japanese ryokan. <laughs> traditional. <laughs> okay. okay. Rich for storing all of the food and drinks that we don't have. <laughs> See? Very fashionable. <laughs> We're getting all tucked in. Well, A is obviously already all tucked in. Are you really pretending like you're sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to. Come on, it's for show. So we just woke up. I have these patches under my eye because for some reason, me and Laurel have terrible bags under our eyes on this trip. So just trying to um, work that out. Did you notice the pillows here in Japan so far? They've been soft on one side and on the other side, there's like, like beads. Yeah. I don't it's know. Interesting. Yeah. Probably rice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out how you're supposed to sit on these. I'm trying to sit crisscross, but you might get flashed <laughs> under there. <laughs> I push myself up here. <laughs> Woo, it's not the easiest thing. They're on. Ew. You better not be putting those under the table while we're eating dinner. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I don't really understand the point. Oh! No. Fashion. <laughs> Fashion is the point. <laughs> what do you think? You have to pay. <laughs> we left our room key in the door. Leave it to us. Second time we left our key somewhere. And it's the biggest key, too. <laughs> like, how do you lose this? See those socks. <laughs> <laughs> 